Hello, I'm Matthew Zonnefeld from Gorman Rep Europe. I am the technical manager and uh, yeah, I'd like to show you today uh, one of our products which we call our eradicator system. The eradicator system, as you can't see clearly here, is uh, available on our T and V series pumps and it's designed to basically eradicate clogging, um, hence the word. The eradicator works by uh, allowing uh, rags and any other uh, solids that would get into a sewage system to pass through the pump. It's got a little tooth that sits in the eye of the impeller which basically snags any rags or anything that gets in there and keeps it going through the pump. So one of the big advantages of our T and well, all of the self-priming pumps um, is that as you can see here it is above ground, you can access it, you can see it and if there's any problems with it, uh, you can get to it. So our eradicator system actually has a removable cover plate here. So if for some reason there is a blockage, you can get in there and get it out. Um, yeah, so this is all basically to uh, help with sustainable efficiency. It doesn't help to have a, uh, a submersible pump that gives you a very high efficiency when half of the time it's blocked up and it can't uh, pump at all. So in an application like this, the pump might not be as efficient, but it's very efficient to get to. You can uh, service it easily and uh, the downtime, if there is any problems, is very minimal. We will now show you how the system works with a demonstration unit we have here. Here we have our uh, demonstration pump. We've got a big tank here where we recirculate water um, using our uh, T3 uh, with a 5.5 kilowatt motor. Um, as you can see, we've got some glass pipe work just so that you can see what we're doing. And uh, yeah, we've got some gauges to see pressure. We won't get into that, but uh, in the control panel just to change the speed of the motor and obviously control it. Um, yeah, let me show you how it's done. All right, let's turn it on. Okay, as you can see, the pump has started to prime. You can see our water starting to get out the discharge there and uh, the pump has become dynamic. Um, so let me just get rid of this oh. Oh. yeah so um, as you can see our pump can uh, uh, pump a variety of different things um, yeah so you can always uh, make sure everything's clean and uh, get the pump operating uh, at its uh, optimum efficiency. Now that you've seen that it does work, we're going to go upstairs and now show you uh, a unit that we can actually pull apart. Okay, I'd like to show you uh, how easy it is to uh, remove a blockage. So with our old style uh, super and uh, ultra uh, V series pumps, you could just remove the whole cover plate to get uh, rid of a blockage but uh, we've actually now incorporated a little inspection cover to our newer units um, to basically allow for much easier access on how to do it so if we just remove these two nuts in the front here uh, we can remove the little inspection cover and then pull out whatever um, blockages might uh, come to sight. I was wondering where that was. Yeah, you can see we get a few weird and wonderful things in our pumps. Yeah, once we've cleared out the blockage, we just put the cover plate back in place, tighten her up and Good to go. Okay, um, I'm going to show you how to uh, actually put in one of our retrofit kits into an existing T-series pump. As you see, we've got an eradicator wear plate here, 
and I'm going to show you how you can get it out quite easily. So I've just loosened this beforehand. Uh, on site you'll probably battle a little bit more. And we pull this uh, out. Uh, remove the cover plate and as you can see we've got the traditional uh, uh, wear plate here. So just two bolts on the back here I can get the wear plate out. and install the new one. Okay, as you can see the wear plate is quite different to the old style units with the four posts. Uh, we now have this web system which just allows a nice open access uh, for the water to get to the actual impeller. Let me just get this right back in there and then using the the well-known uh, clearance adjustment you can uh, set that from the front um, and uh, there you go we've got a new uh, eradicator installed in the pump so these eradicator sit, uh, cover plates are available on the T and V series pumps uh, that's with the cover plate and the actual eradicator um, Wear plate is available with a few of our prime assisted pumps as well. Thank you.